Previously on the story of Joseph and Benjamin. You think you're something with that coat? Do you think you're better than us? No, brothers, no. I didn't deserve this. We will step through this portal and be there in a matter of seconds. There it is. Wow. This is what will become of your brother Judah. And not only Judah, but all of Israel's children will suffer greatly because of their disobedience. They would not hearken to obey my voice. Therefore, all these curses will come upon them and overtake them. Yahuwah shall send upon thee vexation and rebuke. And in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, until thou perish quickly, pestilence shall cleave unto thee, until he have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. Yahuwah shall smite thee with consumption, and with a fever, and with inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blastings, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. Yahuwah shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. Yahuwah shall smite thee with madness and with blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope in the noonday as a blind man gropeth in the dark. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, but thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore and no man shall save thee. And thou shalt betroth a wife, and another shall lie with her. And thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. And thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. And Yahuwah shall bring thee, and thy king which thou set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou or thy fathers have known. And there shall thou serve other gods, wood and stone. And thou shalt become an astonishment a proverb and a byword among all the nations whether Yahuwah shall lead thee. Thou shalt begat sons and daughters and thou shalt not enjoy them for they shall go into captivity. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and shall overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahuwah thy Elohim to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be brought upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. This is what will become of the descendants of Judah. Riots is living, black on black crime. Silly women, laden with sins, fighting against each other. Black men shall go into prisons. Wicked entertainers and rappers. 
thousands of missing black women. Thousands of missing black children. Alcohol and drug addictions. Black women in prison. Physical and spiritual poverty. Judah! No, do you know? This is not good. We've got to go back and warn our brothers. Father, brothers, we have seen a vision of the future and what will become of our people. They will go into captivity and suffer many things at the hands of wicked people. They will be hung in trees, babies will be used as bait for alligators, and even the elderly will be treated harshly. Not only that, they will be ridiculed by all nations around the world, mocked, laughed at, and called degrading names. And even after all of this, our people will not repent, but continue to do wickedly even to the point of fighting against one another. Well, Joseph, this is very troubling news to hear. To even think that our people would be suffering so greatly in the future is very upsetting. To hear that my descendants would be sold into captivity and treated so horribly, it's a very depressing thought. Hanging them from trees, feeding the babies the alligators, what type of evil is this? Our people must have sinned greatly to cause the Most High to scatter us into the earth like this. It sounds as if they were delivered into the hands of some treacherous people. It was the people of Edom and the descendants of our uncle Esau and other nations that joined in with him. My brother Esau? Yes, Father. Our people will go into captivity so many times because of disobedience and sin. Well, we know our Father is righteous in his chastisement and judgments. He would not bring this upon his people if they did not deserve it. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land.